Hello everybody. Today, how to wave to those different people you see while out on the road. Buckle up. The first wave you need to know is called the TMF. It is for normal caravan. So if you see a normal caravan, remember the TMF. It's called the magic fingers. So they appear and they disappear. You've just done a nice little wave. Everybody's happy. Keep driving, always concentrate on the road. So the magic fingers. If you see a camper trailer or a hybrid, you have to remember you have a caravan, so you're a little bit too cool for them. So if you can, give your glasses a little bit of a up and down. Essentially, you're reflecting the fact that you acknowledge them, but you're a little bit too cool for them because you've got a real caravan. So the too cool, they don't need to see your eyes. So the next wave, you won't see this one very often or get to use it, so you've got to make sure you execute it very well. It's for all those old school or retro style of caravans that you might see out on the road. So you want to give them the captain. You give them the most respect. Good on you, sir. Good to see you doing it. So again, the captain, very sharp, very neat. Give them the respect they deserve. They've spent a lot of time on that caravan. Probably more money than you're spent on your caravan. So respect where it's due. If you happen to be driving along and you see the same brand that you have, so for Adelaide RV, it would be a Supreme or a Leader Caravan or a Goldstream for that matter. So then we need the DT. The DT is a very important one. Always safety first when you're executing a DT. And it is the most excited wave you can give. It's the double thumb. So we see the caravan coming towards us. We recognize, oh my goodness, there's another Supreme. Good for you, buddy. I'm with you. If you can do it with a bit of knee steering or execute it very quickly hanging onto the steering wheel, that's ideal. Don't take your hands off the steering wheel. But they do deserve a double thumb. I happen to see backpackers. They're in either the juice style of camper van or they might be in a combi, something like that. You can normally tell by how they're painted and the wild hair and Scandinavian looks that you'll get. But they do deserve a bit of a wave, so you always give them the Hawaiian. So a little bit of a good on you. doesn't matter how old you are, they're not going to stop and chat to you. Um, the backpackers normally stay around the back anyway, but give them the Hawaiian, they'll appreciate it. And the last one, we can't really call this a wave. So the last one is actually called the Invisible Man. It's called the Invisible Man because it used to be that when you saw a motorhome coming the other way, you would actually shield your face and try not to make eye contact with them. But unfortunately, too many motorhome owners thought that you were waving and they thought that was awesome because you're acknowledging they're part of the clan and they would wave back. So we don't do that anymore. Now we do the invisible man, which is you try as best as possible to exit the vehicle without them seeing you. And then nobody's driving the car. So there you have it, caravan waves, they're fairly simple. Just get to know all the lingo. Maybe the passenger could actually throw out what wave you're meant to do in what situation. Turn it into a game, make it a bit more elaborate. Add to it if you want to. I know I've seen a few different gestures using fingers and fists and things we didn't cover. It might just be because I'm a really bad driver as well. So we'll see you out there though.